What's happening guys? Got another video for you today. We're going to be looking at the Tour Knives Valor. Just picked this thing up. This is a new blade from them. Uh, full disclosure, I bought this myself. They don't send me anything. I asked them to. It'd be cool if they did, but so far I haven't heard anything back from those guys over there. But um, yeah, this is the Valor. You can see it's got a clip point there, almost like a, a K-bar, old school K-bar, except this has been modernized quite a bit. Uh, both with geometry and the materials that they're using. You got CPM 3V, which is one of my all-time favorite steels. Uh, nice tool steel, holds up really well. Uh, you got the KG gun coat on this one also. You got a hybrid fuller, is what they're calling that, where they remove some material on the back of the spine to uh, both reduce weight and add balance, which this is a very well-balanced knife. Look at that guy. You got some G10 scales on there that are really contoured. They call it a 3D radial pattern, so it helps lock it in a little bit better. Let's flip it over this way. Look at that stuff there. It basically fits in your hand perfect. I mean, right there, bam. They even took some material away from the handle so you could actually utilize the thumb ramp a little bit better. So when you press down, you got all that extra space there for some good traction. Got a nice finger choil as always. Sharpening choil. A little bit of a pommel. So you can use that for, you know, blunt force type stuff. Lanyard hole. And uh, man, this is just a really well balanced knife. Any way you want to hold it, this is good grip. I mean, it's, it's gonna just lock in really well. Uh, I think this is a great design. You know, they took the, the old school infantry knife and brought it into the future, definitely. This is going to reside on my war belt here. I think this is where they kind of intended it to go. Let me see if I can bring the camera up slightly. You guys can see what we're working with here. Sorry about that. But yeah, this is the sheath that comes with it. You got a nice uh, Kydex sheath. It's folded over. It has adjustable retention. I did go ahead and add a tech lock on the back. I think that's a really good setup for this. Although you could put any kind of setup on there you wanted. Uh, if you want to put this on your plate carrier, anything like that, you could. Um, I personally just like to have a blade on my left side right there, kind of next to my other utility stuff. But um, yeah, this thing is sweet. It's locked in pretty solid. You can see there, I had to tug on it pretty hard, but it is adjustable. And uh, man. This is just another sweet blade from Tour Knives. It wasn't all rainbows and butterflies though, I have to tell you. I'm always gonna tell you. I'm not gonna try to sugarcoat anything or hide anything from you guys. Uh, no one is sponsoring me, so I'm not beholden to anybody. You can see this screw's a little shiny there. That's because when I got this thing, the scales were not perfectly flush with the actual handle material, with the tang of the knife. Um, not a big deal. I just went ahead and adjusted them real quick, but for you guys that are wondering, I mean, the handles were cut perfectly to the size of the tang. They just weren't um, perfectly lined up when they when they torque these things down. Not a big deal, but I'm always going to tell you if there's anything negative, and that was the only negative I could find on this this blade. You can see it's number 79, so relatively new. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you. A little different, it's not a bushcrafting knife, or really like a survival knife. This is definitely a tactical knife, uh, slash fighting knife. But the way they designed it, and the materials that they used, I mean, it could certainly flex into other roles. Um, I don't know if you'd want a baton with that spine. I mean, it's probably good. I'm gonna try it anyway, but uh, yeah, here we go, guys. The Valor, this is in Mojave. They have another color too that's like more of a black color. I kinda like this, cause it's more uh, earth colored but uh yeah here we go the valor anyhow guys i'm gonna do more videos i usually do one about one a week i'm gonna try to do a couple per week and um keep an eye on some of the descriptions because i'm gonna include some affiliate links for like amazon and stuff a lot of the blades that i review are not available on amazon but i'm gonna review some that are and so if you guys want to take advantage of that while helping out the channel um, that would definitely be awesome. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe if you like this content.
Take it easy, guys.